Normally I work with Darknet and YOLO to build neural networks, but in this video I'm looking at using CSRT in OpenCV to do object tracking. The source code is on GitHub. I'll include a link to the repo in the description below. Everything you see in this video today was written in C++ using OpenCV. The first thing to note is CSRT is extremely slow to run. Most of the videos I've been working with are 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second, and I can play them back without any problem on this computer. But with three or four CSRT trackers instantiated, I can only get between five and six frames per second. The more trackers you have, the more expensive it becomes. And it turns out that trackers are fragile. They quickly and easily lose track of the object they should be tracking. I will link to some video examples in the description below. You can see here that one of the trackers that was originally following the ball is now instead following the player's foot. In a few seconds here, uh, you'll see the tracker actually switch to his other foot. And then eventually when the players move around, uh, that particular tracker ends up on a completely different player. Let me quickly walk you through the source code. The object tracker structure that I created at the top of the file uh, has a tracker CSRT object as a member. You can see it here where I call create and then you initialize it with an image along with a rectangle. Next is the initialize video function that just uh, displays a couple of statistics on the file showing you the dimensions, frames per second, how long the video is. The initialize trackers function has the original coordinates that we pass in to OpenCV so it knows exactly what parts of the image need to be tracked. Normally this would come from some other location, for example a neural network. But in this, uh, in this sample code, I've, I've hard-coded the values. The show video function is where most of the work happens. We read the frames one at a time from the video file. And then we loop through all of the trackers to update them and get a new rectangle. Those rectangles are then drawn onto the image and shown to the user. There's not much else to show from a source code perspective. Everything's in GitHub like I said. And the CSRT objects, uh, you initialize them and then you update them and that's all there is to it. While the potential is definitely there, there are two big issues with using CSRT tracking. Uh, one is the length of time it takes to run. And the second is how fragile it is. And you initialize it, you tell it to follow a certain pattern or a certain object in the image, and it takes very little for it to lose that particular object. 